it is spring and that means it's been roughly a year since I've changed my strings as for my last video. So what I'm going to be doing in this one is doing a deep clean, getting between my frets, cleaning off my strings, cleaning my bridge, finding a bunch of things just to, you know, revamp and revitalize and bring new life to my instrument. Do these look familiar? Grimy bass strings. Because we're definitely not doing that again. The strings are off. Now we have, well, just a plank of wood with some pieces of metal in it. So what I'm showing off here is how much gunk is on my frets and how my machine heads are kind of wobbling. Not supposed to do that. These are missing. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be. But I'm gonna replace it somehow. No, you're not. Gunky and disgusting. What I'm gonna start with is scraping. Some fingers stuff, genetics. So people do this many different ways. I had like a little wooden scraper where I just kind of methodically got between each fret, just kind of scraped. I also used a razor blade briefly, but so once that was done, I just brushed off the gunk and uh, made sure it was all clear. And I moved on to the next one, which was gonna be polishing the frets. So I took a sand sponge and some post notes and went all the way down the neck, covering each fret. Not even a stray mark or wiggle. Look at these frets. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the gunk on this. I might just and a little bit of a little bit of water and a little bit of boop, 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 and we'll see if that works. There's you guys on the iPad. Um, what I wanted to show you was, this is kind of cool, I like this. You know, I've had this bass for a minute and I haven't changed the pickups or anything on it, but look it, that's literally just the strings hitting my pickup. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna keep it. Keep it, uh, don't know what happened. I started to see if I could clean off some of the gunk, and all of a sudden I started sanding the thing. So, uh, I don't know, I got some paint pens, I might just, I think I'm... Yeah, did not plan for this part to happen, so I just went in with a couple of the Posca pens and just did this weird sort of groovy design, and it matched up with my strings, so... It looks like that. So now I wanted to remove the bridge and clean it with an acid bath. It's gunky and weird, and look at the spot that it left. Uh, it, it's got vinegar in it, um, or keep his friend, and a little bit of water, and we're just gonna see if that works. I think it did a pretty good job of knocking out some of the gunk. I, I really hope this works after I'm done with it. It it did. It did. I don't know what I was scared about. Alright, done. F1 oil. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you can't screw this part up because you're just polishing the wood. Uh, I think I put on too much. We thought I put on too much, but I genuinely don't think that's possible, so it's fine. Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit, and then, and then. So the oil worked out really well. I mean, look at that sheen I'm getting. Check that out. Anyway, so I gotta put strings on it now, and hopefully I don't get frustrated. There we go. So now I understand that the rule of thumb is string it up all the way to the machine head, and then you draw it back two frets, and then you snip here, and put that down, and then wrap up. And you get clean even lines every clean even time. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. All right, now that we got all the noodles in a line, we're going to put them into this, cinch it down a little bit, and then screwing counterclockwise here, and then clockwise on this side. So then you achieve um, consistency. And I don't know, it's just easier this way. All right, now they're all on there. Sounds like shit. We have to give it a little bit, give it like 30 to get the neck back in position. All right, now that everything is all said and done, this is the final, final, final product. As you can see, we found another one of the knobs, so I've added it back in. And uh, new bass, new bass string sound. It sounds pretty good, if I might. Whoa! All right, so uh, I need to get a new nine volt for my bass. So everything that you're hearing in the back of the video is me playing music with it. Uh, yeah.